did President Macron of France describe Northern Ireland as being not a proper full part of the UK? Well, Andrew, forgive me if I don't divulge the, uh, the, the detail of what was discussed behind closed doors. What I Go will on. say is this. Um, I'm <laughs> um, actually, uh, what I can tell you is uh, various EU figures here in Carbis Bay, but frankly for months now and years, have characterised Northern Ireland as somehow a separate country. And that is wrong. It is a failure to understand the facts. It is a failure to appreciate what speaking around Northern Ireland in those terms and approaching the issue of the Northern Ireland Protocol in those terms does, causes damage uh, to businesses from both communities in Northern Ireland, creates deep consternation. Um, and we wouldn't talk about Catalonia in Barcelona, in Barcelona or Corsica in France in those ways. What we want now is a flexible approach which looks at all of the provisions in the Northern Ireland Protocol, not just those that protect the EU, but those that protect free flow between, of trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The ball is in the EU's court. The PM was very clear about it. We're willing to be flexible and pragmatic, but they must come back with the reciprocal goodwill to make that mm. happen. And it doesn't sound like that's happening at the moment. What did you personally feel when you heard those comments? Well, it's not new to me. I've been Brexit Secretary, I've been Foreign Secretary for a while now. Um, I think it shows that there's still a, a failure to appreciate what uh, that level of misunderstanding, I think that's the polite way of putting it, of the situation in Northern Ireland and, uh, uh, can have. And it has real reper repercussions on the ground is it for the offensive? communities there. Yeah, I think it is offensive. We would, again, we wouldn't dream of talking of northern region of Italy, uh, the, uh, the German lander, uh, or other uh, provinces, particularly ones where there are, uh, there are these uh, uh, nationalist pressures. We wouldn't dream of talking about those no. uh, uh, areas in those terms. What we want is a bit of respect from the other side, a bit of flexibility, a bit of goodwill. Okay. With that, if the so EU are willing to show that, we can, we can chart a course well, through. 